All right, so we're going to have a quick review about making views. Now, remember, views are just um, a way to take an SQL statement and save it so that you can use it again later. Um, that's that's really it in a nutshell. We'll talk about a lot of the parts and pieces um, as part of the full class lecture, but at, at the end of the day, really all it is is just a standard SQL statement that we want to save and use um, and then how we use it kind of makes some difference so for instance I want to create a view that tells me the film name and the price of each film available on DVD so I build this just like I always would I do a create view and that's uh, how we're gonna start this thing off and then we're gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it price list as now that's really the only thing different from what you're already used to. From there, we just write our SQL statement just like always. So in this case, uh, we're going to do from films, um, and I've got the documentation over here in front of me. You can certainly pull that down off Blackboard and look it up. We're going to do a select film name and DVD price from films. And then we're going to filter that where DVD equals yes. Oops. And then we're going to put it in order by film name. Now, there's nothing different about this than you used to, right? If we take out the create view price list ask, do an X here, you can see that's just a typical SQL statement. If we look at it, we'll see that uh, we've got all of our films down the side here and the DVD price. And because we filtered it where DVD equals yes, we only got the ones that actually have a DVD available. Once we add this line here, create view price list as, all it's going to do is take the same query, but instead of running it, it's going to save it. All right, it'll save over here in films. Uh, if you don't see it initially, just hit this little refresh button right here, and you'll see it down here, and you'll see that you've got a view now. Um, and that view basically acts like a table uh, in your database. It's not really a table because every time you click on it, it's actually running this SQL again, but it acts like a table for all intents and purposes, which means you can use it in future uh, queries if you really wanted to. So, for instance, we might uh, want something a little bit bigger. So let's go into SQL here. And now we're going to create this query here. Now what this query does is this gives me attendance information. What I'm doing is I'm looking to see uh, what my member attendance was, including my member name, the location of the meeting, and whether a member attended. So that's what we got here is my name, location, whether they attended, and then I'm going to pull it from these tables and then be sure that I connect my tables there. I'll check this and make sure it works. So I have this goods query. It all works. And this is useful information. So maybe I'll want it in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and save this query as a view. All right, so now I'm taking this query and I'm saving it as a view so that I can use it later. So I'll hit go. And we'll refresh over here and we'll see it appear down here. So now you can see I've got that view. Now let's say I want to build another view, and I want to use that view. So here I've got a, a new view I'm going to create. I'm going to call it Active Members, and then I'm going to write a new SQL statement where I'm going to select all from member attendance. What is member attendance? Well, it's that virtual table that I made right here. And I want to know just the ones where attendance is yes. And now when I save that one, oops, check my uh, my columns here, where attended, it's not going to be attendant, it's going to be where attendance, right, 
take a look down here and see. Attended. Or attended equals. Yes. There we go. So now when I refresh this, I have another one down here. So my active members is a subset of member attendance. You can see how long that takes because what's happening is it's running a query called active members that we wrote, which then runs a query called member attendance. And you can see that we have a subset of member attendance. So here's our member attendance. And here's a subset. Remember, again, what a, what a query does is it creates a virtual table and then, or excuse me, a view does is it creates a virtual table and then you can actually create new views and do new queries based on those new virtual tables. Uh, the big upside is you don't have to type all of that stuff over and over again. Downside is that there is a performance hit. As you saw, things tend to run a little bit slower.